Hi, for the next step in our um, tutorial, now we're going to take our scanned image and we're going to reopen this up in Photoshop. I'm just going to drag that onto the PS logo on our menu here and basically start to prepare the image to take it into Illustrator. So basically this is just some simple cleaning up to actually uh, bring in the best image we can to get the best reproduction from the Illustrator stage. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert our illustration over into grayscale. And now basically just remove any color information from the picture. Next thing I need to work out is the actual final size. So for this I'm going to try and create an illustration which is about A4 in size. So if I know that A4 is 21 by 29, I'm going to maybe bring this up to 29 here and that will give me an A4 image. I can bring down the resolution just for the sake of making things a little bit easier to work with to about 150 uh, pixels per inch and I'll just bring down the quality a wee bit. So if I move in a little bit closer, you can see the lines are relatively good here, but we can adjust things just a little bit more just to resolve that. So I'm going to go into Brightness Contrast, and I'll just play around with that. And you can see if I take it too far, I can bring up some of the paper textures that were caught in the original scan. So I don't really want to take it that far, but I'll play around with Contrast as well and just try and darken it just a little bit just to get the best from the illustration. Once I've got that, the next stage is to go to Select and choose Color Range. And what we're going to do now is we're trying to pick up um, within this tonal range here the most solid blacks within the line. So basically what it's going to do is remove any of the lighter shading around the edge of a black line. And obviously when it brings this over into Illustrator, it'll just help the process of actually converting the file over. So what I'm doing here is just pulling up the fuzziness bar to the highest point and you'll see uh, a kind of simple reproduction. It's quite small, so it's kind of difficult to see what you're working with, but it should brighten up. And the areas which are showing in white will be the selected areas which the file will create. So if I OK that, basically now I have the marching ants which are surrounding the black areas of the drawing. So I'm going to open up my window for layers. I'm going to create a new layer from the pop out menu. Now I can turn off the background image just so I can actually see the selected area. Now I'm going to go up to Edit and choose Fill. I'm going to choose black as a fill color. And what will happen now is we should see our line drawing appears inside the selected areas. Now if I deselect the drawing, you should see it's mainly now made up of a very pure black and white image. There's no gray scale images around the edge. And basically this will make things a little bit easier for when we take it into Illustrator. So the last stage is to remove the background file, which is the original scan. We'll just drop that onto the bin symbol, which gets rid of layer for the background. And then the last stage is to save our file and get it ready for going into Illustrator. So to do that, I'm going to save it as a default Photoshop file. And basically just save it to my desktop again. And once I have that done, we're ready to move over into Illustrator, which is the next video.